y'all doing up there? Here for another review, huh? All right, let's get into it. Since we switching things up. Today we have a special pair of shoes for a special day. These are none other than the Ultra Boost 4D. All black, black on black on top of black. Boy, I waited for these things quite some time. Man, oh man, I tell you, I am excited about this review here. So, right off the bat, first thing you notice about these particular pair of shoes, these are once again the Ultra 4D. Not to be mistaken with an Ultra pair of boosts, but they do have the same elements. If you look right here, this right here is the OG Prime Knitting that they use in the original pair of Ultra Boost, as well as the matte cage right here, matte black cage. And then this right here is where the 4D comes from right here. This right here, the whole idea concept of 4D is for one day for you to walk into a shoe store and instead of getting a size 10 or a 10 and a half, you get your actual size that you wear. So I'm just Zay. Instead of me saying, hey, let me get a 10 and a half, I'm saying, hey, let me get a pair of shoes. And you tell me name or whatever it is, it actually fits your foot that way. So I think that with that being said, man, I had to support these shoes. Now, there are a couple drawbacks. For instance, this is not the continental rubber that we all know and love. So I'm feeling it is pretty soft, which is a plus minus. The minus is that if you guys know about tires and things like that, the softer the tires are, the smoother they ride, but they don't last as long. So that's what I'm worried about as far as the traction, whether these will last as long as the Continental, because that actually was the issue with the original pair of Ultra Boost. That's why I switched over to Continental. So another thing you guys notice about the shoe, you have the Adidas right here at the top. In addition to that, you're gonna see right on the sole and sole, Ultra 4D right here. And like I said, throughout the shoe, this is black on black on black. And I guess you could say on black again also. This is a great shoe. This right here is the part where I'm gonna tell you how I feel about the shoe overall. I will tell you this and I will tell you that. This is, I love the way this shoe looks. I love the OG pair of Ultra Boost. I love the knitting. I think the OG original knitting is the best knitting that they came up with. Second best is probably the third version. Um, but I told you what I love. Then I'm gonna tell you what I dislike a lot. I strongly dislike the feel of the 4D simply because this does not to the Ultra Boost as far as comfort, it's not as responsive and it's not as responsive as the NMDs either. These are probably as comfortable as a pair of flip flops, you know, and take that with it as you may. But if you purchase these, it's simply not because you're buying them because of how comfortable they are. You're buying it because of how they look and how they look, really. These are a great look. I mean, honestly, being able to see through the shoe. Let me see if I can show you guys. You actually see through this. You guys can see the light. Can you see the light? Let me see. Can you guys see that? You might not be able to see the light. It's not dark enough. But for 220, I would definitely buy these again just because of what these are. Like I said, what I don't like is the traction on these shoes. I don't think they'll last a long time. Not to say because they're not continental, but because to say because they're soft. And a soft sole isn't always that great because you're gonna be running on concrete or even walking on concrete. So, would I recommend these to a connoisseur? Yes. To a person trying on Adidas for the first time, trying to become a fan, I say don't start here. Start with a pair of Ultra Boost or start with a pair of Pure Balance Boost. So, just saying, signing out. Stay tuned for the next video.
Hey, welcome back. Just Zay here, of course, but you already know that. Just reiterating what I put in the last video. We're doing a giveaway. All you gotta do to win is follow me on Instagram and of course subscribe to me on YouTube. The first 200 subscribers and followers, well, they get a chance to choose what they want to win. Like I said, we got the, the shoes, we got the duffel, and we got the belt bag. First two winners, all you gotta do, like I said, subscribe. Send me a DM, screenshot, so you subscribe and you follow me. Hey, the odds of being your favorite. Y'all stay tuned. More videos on the way.